The shouts of Hosanna and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord seemed to echo in the streets of Jerusalem for days as people prepared for the Passover feast. It was now the first day of the feast and Jesus' disciples asked him, where do you want us to go and make preparation to eat the Passover meal? Jesus said to them, go into the city and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. Say to the owner of the house he enters. The teacher asks, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make preparation for us there. The disciples left, went into the city, and found everything just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared for the feast of the Passover lamb. As evening came, Jesus arrived with the twelve, and they shared a feast of love. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it. Giving it to his disciples, he said, Take it. This is my body, broken for you. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many.
Following the meal, Jesus and his disciples sang a hymn and then went out to the Mount of Olives. Having already told them that one of the twelve would betray him, Jesus now told them that they would all fall away. For it is written, he said, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. The prophecies of Jesus were to soon become a reality as Judas the betrayer and a crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and elders surrounded him. They seized and arrested Jesus. They took him to a place where the religious leaders were gathered. Several of them made false accusations against Jesus. They condemned him, saying he was worthy of death. The religious leaders eventually reached consensus. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the local Roman governor. As was customary at the feast, the people were demanding the release of an imprisoned criminal named Barabbas. Pilate asked the enraged crowd, What shall I do then with the one you call King of the Jews? Crucify him, they shouted. Crucify him. So Pilate had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. In those few hours, the words of the prophet Isaiah were fulfilled. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. He took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. He was oppressed and afflicted. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. He was despised and rejected, scorned by his very own. Yet he bore the cross of shame willingly. He was peace. For our transgressions, broken and alone, still he chose to bear the cross for you and me.
Jesus was led away. Roman soldiers put a purple robe on him and then twisted together a crown of thorns, which they placed upon his head. In mockery, they called out to him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck Jesus on the head with a staff, spat upon him, and continued to mock him by falling on their knees in fake homage to the Holy Lamb of God. Then they put his own clothes back on him and led Jesus out to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There he was crucified. Those who passed by hurled insults at Jesus. Even those crucified with him heaped insults on him. After several agonizing hours on the cross, with a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The Roman centurion who stood there in front of Jesus heard his cry and saw how he died. In awe and wonder, he said, Surely this man was the Son of God.
very early on the first day of the week following the Sabbath, just after sunrise, the women were on their way to the tomb. They asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But as they looked up, they saw that the large stone had already been rolled away. They entered the tomb, and there they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side. They were very alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be afraid. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen. See the place where they laid him. Now go and tell his disciples, Jesus is risen. Worthy is the Lamb who is slain. Worthy is the Lamb. He is worthy to receive power and wealth, wisdom and strength. He is worthy to receive honor and glory and praise. Worthy is the living Lamb of God. 